In this video, we're gonna go over how you can make the three by three image design style using ChatGPT in a single prompt. In the past, we would have to run either nine different prompts or use image set generation. And then we would take all of the images and we would combine them into a design and handle it all manually. So that would result in using a lot of credits and sucking up a lot of time for a single design. But now we could do it all in one step in ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and work through some examples of doing this together. Okay, so here we are with our hands out hoping for ChatGPT to save us with our ideation. So let's go ahead and see what ChatGPT comes up with. Okay, so we've got some options here. Let's go ahead and start with the dog breeds one. Okay, not bad at all. So we can take that and we will go ahead and use that and create a vector image. But let's go ahead and create a couple more examples. Okay, so let's get a little bit more creative and let's do different types of cheeses with different emotional expressions. And yeah, I like the way that looks. Let's see what the image will look like by giving ChatGPT the go ahead. Okay, so this is adding some words. So let's go ahead and ask for it without the words. Okay, not bad. It's not the same image that it was making before, but this is totally usable. Now let's try something different. So let's ask for a three by three image set of different wildflowers in a boho style and see what ChatGPT gives us. That would be completely acceptable. So we will download that, but let's see if we can get more detail. Okay, so we're gonna do a little conversational prompt to see if we can get more details and remove the backgrounds from the individual flowers. And we're gonna go and take all of these images that we ended up with and go ahead and put it into Vectorizer AI and see how they turned out. Okay, so here we are in Vectorizer AI. I've found that this is probably the best tool available for vectorizing things. So let's go ahead and start with our little puppy design and drag and drop the image. I find that these settings tend to do pretty well for what I am looking for. So let's go ahead and download it, hit download, and there we go. So we have all of the different image sets vectorized in probably 15 seconds, 20 seconds each in Vectorizer AI. So I know not all of you have Adobe Illustrator, it's what I personally use. However, you can use this free tool called Figma to do some light work with vector images. So here we are with the puppy design and you can already see it's balanced. All we need to do is make it fit the canvas. And then we can simply select the background and then click delete. Uh, so the only thing we would need to do in Figma is go over here, click frame one, and then we change this fill if it was at 100%. It would look like that. And if we change it to 0%, it is suddenly transparent. So we can go ahead and export frame one. So that's a free option. Uh, the other way we can do things is by putting it in Kittle. So here we are in Kittle. Let's go ahead and drag our SVG file on here. Uh, this time, let's look at the boho flowers with the transparent background. Okay, and here we are with the transparent background boho flowers set that we just made. And we can fill the canvas here. And this is the wrong size. So let's use the Amazon Merch artboard size. And we can make sure that it has a little bit of headroom. And then center it horizontally. And we are ready for export. We would just go to export and then we would remove background optimize quality, and there we go. I just pulled in our two remaining vector files, and let's go ahead and process these. We'll start with the boho flowers, the original one. Okay, so here we are with our artboard. Let's go ahead, we'll select all of these, and then we will drag it out so that the main elements fill the artboard. And we wanna go ahead and get rid of this background so we could drag it out and you delete it, and there we go. Except I just noticed if we punch in here that this does not have a circle in there. So we're missing that circle. Let's go ahead and fill in that circle. So we click one of these to get that shape. We'll hold Alt and drag it over here. 
uh, we'll bring it to front and we bring it to the front then let's go ahead and make this big enough and on the front so that it looks similar to the other flowers which do not have this green stem like thing okay so that looks pretty good let's zoom back out see if we see any more issues and i do not so we could take this and we can simply export this artboard so we can go to file export export as then we can do png we'll use use artboards and then we'll do range one transparent background export so let's go ahead and process our last one with our cool cheeses. So this time, we already know we're gonna remove that background. So let's go ahead, remove that background, select all of our vector elements and upscale it. I'm holding shift in order to make sure it maintains the aspect ratio. Let's make it fit here. And then we can go ahead and center and align it. So if we punch in, we see that there are very good solid details there's no pixelization and it is completely ready to go and i just realized my face was in the way last time so luckily we can correct it this time so we go to use artboards range and we've got two artboards so let's go ahead and do artboard number two because that's what this one is and then we hit export and then we go ahead and we make sure we're on high and we have a transparent background and we export okay so that was a much simpler process than it would have been if we were taking all of these images and running them nine times in order to get to a grid in fact ChatGPT did a great job in making sure that we didn't even have to drag around and balance things and it was very easy to take these images pull it through Vectorizer AI, and then go ahead and process it in any tool that allows you to process vector files. If you enjoyed the walkthrough, do me a favor and give me one of these. It really helps me out, and I will see you in this video over here.